Privacy rights are a serious concern in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The internet and SMS services are frequently shut down, especially in times of political unrest. For instance, a law that was put in place in 2002 has aided the cracking down of internet access for the people of Congo. This law governs the telecommunications sector as a whole and basically gives the government power to take charge of communication facilities in the interest of national security or public defense. Basically, they have the power to shut down internet service providers like Airtel and Orange Group if they feel it would benefit the citizens. And these companies have complied fearing that their licenses could be terminated. In this video, I'll show you how to protect yourself with one tool, a VPN, so you are not among the statistics. I'll help you find the best VPN for Congo and I'll walk you through some things to look out for when you're trying to look for a VPN. Without further ado, let's get to the video. First off, why should you use a VPN in Congo? I'll start by explaining what a VPN is. A VPN or virtual private network lets you create a secure connection to another network via the internet. A VPN is a tool. It's usually an app that you have installed on your computer that is your laptop or PC or Mac or your smartphone. Once installed, a VPN does a couple of things. Firstly, it changes your location or in more technical terms, your IP address. This way, if someone is trying to hack you or figure out your location, they won't have anything to pinpoint the location of your device and what they'll have or what they'll see is the location that you have chosen on the vpn this way you get to access websites that are restricted to that said region you also get to stay protected from people who may try to steal your information if you're on a public wi-fi connection in 2016 authorities in the democratic republic of congo ordered that social networks including facebook and whatsapp be blocked. This was reported by three internet service providers and another statement in this same report read that in cases where partial blocking is not possible, you are required to block access to the relevant social networks entirely. This was possible because of the law we mentioned earlier in this video and this is why a VPN is more than necessary for freedom of speech to reign. Of the over 18 million people making up the Democratic Republic of Congo, internet penetration stands just at over 8% or 7.4 million people having access to the internet. The country is set to hit a population of 100 million by 2024, which is a lot. And considering that they are the fourth largest country in Africa by population, internet security should be a top priority. It has never been more important. So you know you need a VPN, but how do you know which VPN to get and what should you look out for when you want to get a VPN? When you're trying to find a VPN, you want to know or you want to be sure of your use case or use cases when it comes to having a VPN. Are you mainly going to be streaming movies or video content? Or are you someone who travels a lot and needs to connect to public Wi-Fi? Maybe you just want to stay secure on the internet or you want all of those things. This is somewhere that VPN.com excels and right on the homepage, you get to see the best VPN that you can get for your own specific use case. For instance, if you're looking for a VPN for entertainment purposes like streaming Netflix, you should find out if the VPN you're getting can. Not a lot of VPNs can do this. Sometimes Netflix restricts some of their content to some locations and it doesn't show in some others. One other use case is having decent ease of use with a good interface. This is somewhat based on preference, but really a good user interface would usually speak for itself and watching slash reading reviews on vpn.com can help you find your preference in this regard. Another very important factor when it comes to choosing your VPN is the speed. How fast is it? Does it drop in speed when it's connected? This can be seen through VPN reviews and again, does it have enough locations for connections as well? If you're one who wants to regionally access content like Netflix, you'd want to know if your VPN can access this from your country of choice. Other things to look out for are also compatibility with your devices, your PC, your Macs, your Android, iPhone, or your router. The customer service is also important when you want to get a VPN. You should know if they are 24 seven or nine to five, depending on the time zone. And this is usually stated in the support pages or seen in reviews. The mode of payment is also a major factor. Although there are policies guiding everything with your credit cards, some people who want anonymity may want to use Bitcoin and you want to know if your VPN has the option of accepting Bitcoin. Many VPN companies also offer a 30 day free trial. Some may be seven days, some may be more and some may be less. Um, and they usually have a money back guarantee so you're a confident customer when you want to pay. Speaking of paying for your VPN, yes, it can be tempting to want to use a free VPN. After all, your IP address is changed and isn't that what you want, right? Wrong. Well, free VPNs are somewhat notorious for tracking you or even selling your data. 
They slow down your speed and also have limited features like limited locations, connections, and also access to services that you may need for your own use case. And when you pay for a VPN, you unlock a myriad of features. If you're curious and you want to know more about VPNs, especially with regards to how it relates to Congo, visit vpn.com slash location slash Congo. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And as a special offer today to save viewers like you a bunch of money, grab a 30-day risk-free trial to the number one best VPN for Congo by clicking the first link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.